Hello, hello, everybody. Kyung here, and I'm here to do envelopes. Yay! And instead of having a pre-made envelope, I thought we would make our own envelopes this time. Um, so I have stacked envelopes. That's what we're going to do. And this was inspired by a um, Miss Paint a Lot video. She did, I think it was either for like the September daily or for the January daily. I'm not sure. I will find it and I'll have the original video in the description below. Um, these ones I made uh, using 12 by 12 papers and I tied them with this twine. And so these are just prototypes. This one is I made out of 12 by 12. This one I made out of a 10 by 10, right? I cut this one on 10 by 10. This is a 9 by 9. And this is, uh, oh no, yes. And this is a, um, an 8 by 8. So that's what those sizes are. And then I just decorated them and I tied them with a twine. So in these ones, I actually did not make using an envelope punch board because I thought about using an envelope punch board, but um, I decided against it because not everyone has one and um, you don't need one really. Um, I'll do an envelope punch board video eventually because it is an envelope thing, but I thought it would be fun to just, you know, use what we have right now or um, be very minimal about things, right? So we have tea dyed paper. That's what I'm going to use this time instead of 12 by 12s. I'm going to make smaller envelopes because I want them to fit in a journal. All right, so we have our eight and a half by our eight and a half, a seven and a half by seven and a half, a six and a half by six and a half, and a five and a half by five and a half. These are going to be our envelopes. Okay, I'm going to line it up on my board just like this, right squared. Okay, and I'm going to mark so that we do this evenly. Let's see, let's go four inches on this one. One, two, three, four. I'm going to make a little mark here. One, two, three, four. And I'm going to make a little mark here. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the diagonal. I'm line it up and I'm going to mark it at four inches. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, and then I'm going to fold it to those lines, right? So to that line, to that line, and then I'm going to fold it. Easy peasy. And then we can go in and erase our lines if we want, right? If we don't, well, it doesn't matter. They're going to get cut. <laughs> okay, so here's our bottom. Now we could measure if we wanted. Right, we could come in if we wanted to be precise and we could say, okay, here's this one ends here, right? So we go one, two, three, four, five. We could mark it at like five and a half. But instead, just to be easy about things, right? And then mark it at five and a half on this side and then again, fold them up to the line. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna fold it up like this so that there's this much space, right? Maybe about a half an inch roughly half an inch from our corner. I'm going to do the same thing on this side so that it's kind of easy, just so that they're folded over. I'm going to try and get it as straight as I can. And then just fold it like that. And then I'm going to cut these parts off. Just straight across like that. Ta da! And then, and it looks like we might, we'll see. We're going to cut it, so we'll see. I'm going to do the same thing here for our top. I'm going to fold it over so that it's folded over more, not that much, but more than our corner. Just a little bit. Straight across, it's a little crooked. Again, if you mark it like I did with the sides, you'll get it perfectly straight. I just don't want to do that. I want to do it this way. <laughs> Maybe I'll do the second one like that. And we'll mark it both and then we'll compare. Oh, that's right. We have to cut off. So then we're going to cut off these little bits right here and cut on the outside. Right of the folds. Just cut out the little corners. 
I cut it like rounded. These ones are smaller. There we go. There, now I'm going to glue it. Just a little bit of art glitter glue. Onto our envelope. Look at that, and we're good. And then we could round that, but I'm going to leave it pointy. So there's our first envelope. Done, right? Good deal. Okay, here's our next one. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to line it up in our corners. Let's see. One, two, three. Should we go three and a half? Let's go three and a half on this one. One, two, three and a half. I'll do the same thing on this side. One, two, three. Half. Okay. And then yeah, I'll do this, I'll do, I'll measure this one. Hmm? On these two. Just fold it to where our marks are. Ta-da, see it, then it's pretty even. Okay, I'm gonna unfold it. And I'm gonna line these ones that haven't been folded yet up on my lines. So let's see, our fold ends here. One, two, three, four, right? A little under four from this edge. I'm thinking four and a half. Let's go four and a half. One, two, three, four and a half. And that should have the folds overlap each other. So the same thing on this one. One, two, three, four. And a half and a half. And then this envelope theoretically I marked the wrong side. <laughs> That's okay. Just fold my little marks and then turn it back over. Right, because these were our marks that we put for these corners. <laughs> right? Okay, so the correct marks for this one I put on this side. Just going to fold it in a little bit. Let's see, erase our marks from when we did our side, um, our side folds, right? So now we just need to cut out our little corners. So I hope everyone's been having a wonderful spring, a wonderful week. Um, my tree, my aspen tree is doing really good. He, he might actually be growing branches. I can't believe it. We're super excited about it. Oh, and my lilac is going to have flowers. I can't believe it. So we're doing very good. And then me and my sister, we planted some stuff in pots um, yesterday to get them to sprout, you know, and then in a week or two, we're going to plant them outside. Um, when we know for sure that we will not have a frost. Um, and in a week, in about a week or two, it will be completely safe from that. So some plants do fine in a frost here, you know, but some don't. So especially little baby things, you know, with seeds that you're starting from seed. Okay, so here's our second envelope. Dump dum. It's going to get stacked onto this envelope. There it is. And I'm going to do the same thing to these two. And you don't need to watch me do that because you watched me do these two, right? So I'll be right back. All right. So here we go. We've got our four little envelopes, right? They stack up on top of each other like this, right? And then they'll be tied together with a twine. And then you can put it in your journal. Fill it with ephemera, put it in your journal, or fill it with 
happy mail, send it to a friend. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever you want to do with it. But um, I'm going to stamp mine. I thought it would be fun. I want to decorate them. I'm going to stamp it. Uh, maybe put I put out some of my boxes of a little ephemera stuff. Maybe we'll put tickets. I'm going to ink them real quick. Oh, maybe we'll use some washi tape. I've really been needing to use some washi tape. Um, more. <laughs> I have that whole box of it. Okay, I'm just going to ink a little bit of these envelopes a little bit. All right, just, just a touch here and there. I have some of these pencil marks that didn't get cut out. Anytime I see those, I'll erase them. So there's this one. Let's see, let's put a ticket. We have this one. That one's cool. I kind of want to leave this area for our stamps and stuff. Maybe we'll do it down here. We'll do our little cluster kind of things down here. Let's see, we'll put a little ticket. Like that. Let's see, let's look at our labels. Got little, pretty little Edith Holden ones and stuff. Botanical ones. Those were sent to mean happy mail. I like these red things, these like red, red labels. We can pull those out. A collection of specimens. This one we can put on there. Let's cut these out. Right, we'll just put a couple of these on there. Maybe, a, and then a butterfly. Right, should I ink them a little bit? Probably. Just a tad. Okay, this one first. So yeah, my plants are doing well. I'm gonna have, um, I'm gonna go to the hardware store tomorrow and pick up the stuff for, uh, to start my greenhouse. Cause I'm gonna build a do it yourself um, greenhouse. We're gonna make it out of a PVC pipe. So it'll be a lot of fun. I'm excited to do that. I wanna start growing vegetables and stuff. Okay, I'm thinking right here, kind of overlapping the two. And I had thought about ironing this paper right before we started, but I loved the wrinkleness of it and the crinkliness of it. I think it'll be really cool when they're all stacked, when they're filled and then they're stacked um, and tied together. I think it'll be, I think they'll be nice. Okay, let's put a butterfly on there and then we'll look at our stamps. Let's see. What do we have? We have these. You can sit on there. I like him. Do we have kind of a bigger one? This one's very bold. We have the red and we have a little bit of the blue. He kind of matches. I kind of really like him. Let's do it. He really wants to be on there. Put a little bit of glue. These stickers came from that botanical sticker book. Butterflies, bees, and birds book. Sticker book. I just fussy cut them out. Stick him on there. Okay, so we have a little area that has like some decoration on there. And then I want to put some, uh, I want to stamp. So let's see, I'm thinking black. Black is the way to go. Just going to use my archival ink. Ooh, and my stamping blocks. I actually have stamping blocks. <laughs> okay, let's see. 
like little ones. Oh, I like this one with the raven. This is like post office something. I don't know. It, I didn't clean it off after I used it last time, but we're using black anyway, so. Neat. Okay, so here we go. Okay, I'm gonna tap, tap. Tap, tap our stamp. Get a good amount of ink. See, that's my biggest problem always, is I don't get enough ink on my stamp. Okay, or I try to stamp on an uneven surface. <laughs> Okay, just going to let it sit there for a minute. Try not to move it around too much. Oh, lovely, lovely. I'm so happy. Look, <laughs> my stamp came out perfect. Perfect. Should we put, should we try to get a stamp on top of it? Do I really, I don't really kind of have one. That's not fancy, you know. I just received. You could stick on there. It's been received. This one I've never used, this little received one. Ta-da! It's been received. I love it. Okay, so there's this um, envelope. And we didn't use washi tape, but that's okay. Uh, we did some stamping. All right, so I've got all my stuff inked. Let's get to decorating this one. Let's see, what do we have for tickets? Chicago Stadium. Should we put this one? It says Led Zeppelin. We could put this one like this. Put this one like this. And let's see. What do we have for like labels and stuff? I like that one. That one's interesting. This one has mushrooms. Doesn't really... Oh, here's a collect... Let's see. A collect with this red one. We have this red one we could stick under here. We could put somewhere. Oh, no, I'm kind of not liking that one. What about this little red one? Cover identification and just have it say check. And then put a butterfly on it, right? And do a stamping. Let's do it. Let's just glue this one on. Maybe not use as much glue. Me and my sister, we were playing the funnest game earlier. We were playing this board game called Wingspan. It's like, oh, it had the most gorgeous images of birds, right? Bird cards. Um, it had little eggs. It was just so much fun. So we played like three rounds of that. <laughs> it was great. It was, yeah, we had fun. Then we learned that there's like three expansions to it. There's like um, European birds, right? So you can get European birds. Um, and then there's, oh, like ocean birds. So that's cool. And then, oh, Asian birds. I'm gonna put this one over here. We're just gonna cover that identification a little bit. That's okay. Awesome. Yay, now let's see. Let's pick a butterfly. Oh, they're flying. 
they're all trying to get out. What is this one? That one's interesting. He's kind of more like a moth. We have little ones. This is yellow. He's bright. But this one. I don't know. We have the green one. This one? Maybe... Maybe perhaps something a little more red. I have this one. This is a Tim Holtz one. He doesn't match our other envelopes, though, because I'm not going to put like a Tim Holtz one on every... Right, we put one of the sticker ones on the last one. What about this guy? Oh, he's perfect. Yeah, he is the one. For sure. Oh yeah, the so yeah, that bird game. <laughs> it comes with like this little birdhouse that you roll the food die in, you know, because your your birds have to eat. So you roll these dice to get food for your bird and you roll them in this little birdhouse. <laughs> so much fun. All right, so we used this stamp last time. Let me kind of stamp it off. All right. So let's see, we used this one. Let's use this pretty flower one with the stamp on it. It's a stamp stamp. So, and again, I'm gonna use my black. Looks good. Looks like there's uh, ink on there. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yay. There it is. Okay. And I'm not going to stamp like a received or anything on top of it because it's got this little circle one that says it has a three. So there's this envelope, right? And it goes with this one. Oh, these are going to be lovely stacked together. All right. We have this one next. We can just do these together. Uh, let's see. Let's put tickets. Let's see, let's put this ticket on here. Oh, it's upside down. It's a bus ticket. And let's see, what other tickets do we have? A circus ticket. <laughs> a big circus ticket. Is this one a bus ticket? I like this one. We'll glue this one upright like this. Workman's return, single ordinary return, or workman's return. All right, and then a little label perhaps. Perhaps like that. Let's see what we have. We have this round one. I like the round one. Hmm. 
<laughs> oh, goodness, goodness. This shouldn't even be in there. Oh, I like that one. It's blue. Put that one in this one. Hmm. This one? Like this. Oh. What about this? This came from a line dot arrow kit. This little this little shield label. What about that? Is it too much? I'm not sure. Use these little circle ones too. Consecutive number. <laughs> Oh, yes, yes, definitely. Okay, let's get this on there. Gotta ink it first. My little emo robot is being very no noisy tonight. He keeps thinking I'm talking to him. He's over there snoring and whistling and... And it's all late, too. Right? And then what about this butterfly? Can he go on there like this? Perhaps like on the circle one like that? What do we think? Yes? Yes. He stayed out of the box because he really wanted to be used. Put a little bit of little bit of glue, press him down. There's that one, and then we'll do some stamping on them as well, and then we're good. We just have to tie them up with twine. Put this one down here. I don't know. I'll put it like this. I think I do. We're putting it like that now. <laughs> do you know why? Because we can change our mind if we want. So here's my stamp. Let's see. We used this stamp and this stamp. Ooh, we have the little airplane one. It says airmail. Let's use the little airplane one <laughs> on the little tiny envelope. I accidentally got ink on my block. Pressing too hard on the ink. Pad. There we go. Oh, that's so, I love that little stamp. That's maybe one of my new favorite stamps. And it reminds me of Jania. <laughs> Stamped on her paper. Okay. And oh, we have this, this is the last one. This like big stamp that says U.S. postage paid. Just tap that down. Oh, I didn't get enough ink on there, see? On those flowers in the middle. What can you do? Ta-da! They didn't come out too bad. But yeah, I didn't get the flowers here. The lilies looks like all right so yay here are our envelopes aren't they so great i love them so here's our bigger one and we put this one on this one and this one on this one and this one on this one and then i'm going to tie it with a twine 
right? So I start at the top like that, and I just place my thumb on the twine and on the, and I hold it between my fingers like that. Flip it over. It's just how I do it. <laughs> okay, how I tie my packages with string. It's really hard when I can't hold things with my hand though, when things are too big. Okay. Then I'm just gonna tie it in a little bow. Right? Not tie it too tight. There it is, our little stacked envelope package parcel. Isn't it so cute? I love it. Oh, and it does come out more like a parcel with the coffee dyed paper, with the uh, tea stained paper. I love it. And so there is that. There. So here is my second parcel <laughs> done with uh, 12 by 12s, right? And I really, but I really love the tea dyed paper one. That one is my favorite. It's pretty packages tied up with string. So yay! There is the envelope video of the week. Dum dum! Stacked envelope parcel packages. Um, making our own envelopes without using the envelope punch board. All on our own. Just a couple of folds and a little pair of scissors. So, I hope you all have a wonderful week. I will see you very soon. Um, and I will talk to you later. Bye!